right? And the, the whole point is let's just get people into crypto apps and having fun, right? So let's, yeah, yeah let's right. take a look at the server stuff. I'm excited. Yeah. So uh, like a little disclaimer, I think I wrote one line of code just one minute before the first call happened two, two hours ago. And idea of the server came like 24 hours ago. So it's very, I will be very surprised if everything will be working right now. Oh yeah, but what, what was the idea? I'm sorry, Vadim, that's not good enough. I demand a working NFT API. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, I, I, I don't know. By I the just way, catch, yeah, catch yeah. several Actually, bucks. Actually, we, we got this request uh, from an actual, um, like a partner, somebody who's building on Nier. So it's a very real world kind of example. Yeah, so what was the demand? Uh, one company wants to transfer their existing application to the blockchain and they want to see what will be the flow. How can they send tokens, mint NFT, send to, from one user to another, but they, they don't have enough time to build everything properly using the blockchain. And they asked us to help. And we, we, saw, we, we spoke about maybe we can just make something like a wrapper, like a, like a REST API. So they will just use existing and very simple and uh, something what they already know, HTTP request to make all blockchain stuff. Uh, so proof concept that everything will be fast and all NVT on the, it, on the, on the back end, it, it, it makes normal blockchain calls, like, like usual blockchain, like a real DApp. Uh, but for them, it will be just a HTTP request. And, uh, if everything will be fine, if they will have a accept, ex uh, improvement, then they can easily switch uh, their code from uh, HTTP request to real blockchain calls. Uh, and we can even help them because we, we will use, I don't know, several methods and just replace them with real code. It will be quite simple. So what I did, I made uh, using Happy, I made uh, one uh, gateway uh, and uh, I can show you here. I don't know. Uh, probably it will. Maybe something will work. Okay, let's create a user. Uh, I will make a call. Matt. We can only see. Uh, just so you know, we can only see your browser. Ah, really? Sorry about that. Uh, and I'm just gonna make one comment. Awesome, awesome intro. Just one additional comment. Vadim is using the exact same NFT simple core yeah. contract that that I was showing you before. So a lot of the contract stuff has been has been covered. So we're now seeing it deployed and we're seeing the owner kind of administer all this stuff. Awesome intro. Yeah, I, I used uh, contract what you showed before. I, I deployed it somewhere in the blockchain. I think I called it nft.api.testnet. Ah, sorry. NFT. So it's there. This is a contract of NFT. And uh, this is my REST API. If you see, it's insomnia, so it's normal REST API stuff. So, okay, Matt is already taken. I will call Dorian then. Vadim, uh, also, sorry, quick request. Could you just make this screen like a little bigger if possible? I don't know if it's easy. Uh, uh, which one? This insomnia one? Or... Yeah, like the text. Uh, I cannot do it. I don't know how to, ah, zoom, zoom in. Zoom in. Is it better? Yeah, a couple more. Yeah, one more maybe. Yeah, yeah, just to, so it's a bit bigger for people. Uh, it's not so beautiful now. So I click, I, will, I want to create, I am a game. Uh, some, some, uh, something happens and you uh, have new uh, user in the game, Dorian, and we will call just a post request to server. Uh, we want to create a user. Okay, who's mad it was faster? <laughs> okay, Dorian is created. So it's real block, real real blockchain account, Dorian. I don't have this opportunity to, to create virtual account. So real Dorian account just happened 16 seconds ago, but we didn't actually, from our game server, nothing happens. We didn't create any master key, nothing, just the way I use functionality from the application. Then we want to use, uh, we want to mint NFT for our game. So it's, maybe we will do it before the Dorian came. So how would, how will we call it? I don't know. 
token ID. Okay, best token ever. Gold, so, golden eye. Okay. <laughs> that's actually that's one of my favorite James Bond movies. Actually, Golden Eye, Casino Royale. They're they're some of my favorite new ones. Let's go, Vadim. Favorite James Bond movie. I already put ah. <laughs> oh. I, 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 well, yeah. Uh, Dorian, go. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen them before. <laughs> you haven't seen any James Bond movies? Mm -mm. That's nope. it, Dorian. You're fired. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'm. I, I know it's corny, but I'm. I'm kind of like a. I have a guilty pleasure for James Bond. So did we? Did we create it? Yes, I, we created. We we minted one NFT. Uh, token ID zero zero seven and nice. the name Golden Eye. What happens? Can check. Try, try to mint it again. Does it? Does it error? Uh... I can just prove that it was minted here. So we called it, uh, we call that method here and we called it. And I, because we have method view token, I can put this 007, send request, and we will see that our golden nine exists in blockchain. And this is the owner of uh, our NFT. So, so it's not that, enough. That's going to go to your server and then it's doing a view call. That's why it's really fast. It's just pulling the information from RPC and then just spitting it out, right? Yep, yep. So, cool. but, but it, somebody minted that NFT before, maybe when they designed the game. But now Dorian registered, as we remember, and now we want to transfer token for, to him. So we will put this dorian.api.testnet token ID 007. And uh, our owner ID is API and memo. Okay. Welcome. Welcome. Receiver ID is Dorian, right? So let's try. And that's actually changing state, so it takes a bit longer, right? Because it has to go through a full. Yeah, and block. this is test net, so maybe real application will be faster. So yeah, it's transferred. Now we see that if we will switch now this uh, view call to NFT, so check this 007. I believe it will change the owner. So I click that request. So yeah, now it's new owner. And in the blockchain, we can see the same. So now our Dorian, where is he? Here, Dorian. So now, he, ah, it doesn't show here the, the call. Okay, so just he, he has this NFT in his account. And if we will create another one user, let's say Dorian2. Dorian two and, and now Dorian I, Dorian has to transfer to Dorian two right yes yes just I want to show that it's before when when I started this demo we didn't have any key from Dorian it was created during the demo but uh, still it will be fine now from Dorian uh, we, we will send this token to Dorian two by the way Vadim just so you know I think you only have to include enforce owner ID and memo if it's a transfer from an approved account. So basically like a little bit more complicated like the marketplaces. I don't think for a, what's what I would call a simple transfer, like a peer-to-peer -peer transfer, I don't think you need these two, but we, we can try it later. Yeah, I, I, I use that field just to send, uh, to show the contract who is the real owner now. Okay, from where okay. shall I send? Yeah. yeah, maybe we can put it to different field, but I just kept this as it was in the in the in the in the, in the contract. It's good so though. It's, it's good to have. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, cool. It'll show so up. It, it'll it, show up in the transaction data too. So it's nice. yeah. So now Dorian sent token to Dorian two, and if we will update our state, it's now Dorian two. So what happens? Uh, one player registered in the game. He made some action. He got a token. Then he made another one action and say, say for example, he, he lost his token and he sent his token to different player who overtake the, in some challenge this player. So, and in the end we have real blockchain transfers, real NFT minting, real changing ownership of NFT and our uh, programmers from our game, what we spoke before, what we said before, they didn't put any code of blockchain inside their, their demo. So they can use only this simple get post requests and play with uh, blockchain calls and perform all this uh, stuff, what they will need to do after demo will success and after they will have maybe funding, I don't know. 
or maybe when they will have time to finalize this decision. So, and, and I just want to, to remark that because we have a very small amount of methods here, it's, it will be very simple for us to train uh, developers how they will uh, uh, translate these HTTP codes to blockchain codes. Because yeah. Yeah, if I will, if you want to I, to see the, the it's just an, it's just a simple uh, Node.js application. For example, what is minting NFT? We just have master account and call that function with token ID with metadata and some parameters. How do we? Uh, I don't know what we do. How how do we create account? The same. We just have some information about RPC. We call something. We get something. That's fine. So that was. Uh, Can we go back uh, to the Dorian account on the Explorer? Yes. Let's go. Because we should see the function call there now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. He sent cool. token to Dorian too. Look at look at you go, Dorian. <laughs> Earning, so cool. earning, earning yeah. NFTs, sending them to friends. Friends named Dorian too. So <laughs> let's not get too excited. <laughs> All my friends are just number additions to myself. So. <laughs> All right. Um, so I think that's I think that's it for for today. Thanks, Vadim. Uh, you know, thanks for being very very. <laughs> your demo was so much shorter than mine. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm trying to explain a bunch of the stuff that that, that we're doing with NFTs, but uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, this is really exciting. Um, so I'm going to stop recording now. Uh, thanks everybody for checking it out. Um, this is you know live app review. We do it every Thursday. Uh, if you want to join and just be kind of like a silent you know audience member until we sort of do questions or something like like you know feel free to reach out to us on Discord. Um, and if you're thinking about building on near, or you want to, you want a partner or you want a cool app to be like a sample app or something to be made, uh, just like kind of what, what Vadim's working on, um, you know, give us, give us a chat. And if we think that it's something that's useful for, for the, not just your, your app, but for the wider kind of near developer community, um, something that we're missing. Uh, we will we will work on it and uh, we'll let you know. All right. See you later. Yeah.